Have you ever struggled to understand someone who is not good at expressing their feelings? It's a common dilemma we all face. Picture this. You're engaged in a conversation, but the words coming out don't seem to align with the emotions bubbling beneath the surface. It's like trying to decipher a secret code, isn't it? This situation underscores the vital role of clear communication in our relationships. When emotions are masked or misunderstood, it can lead to tension, confusion, even conflict. But here's the thing. It's not just about what is being said or not said. It's about a key ingredient called emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is our ability to perceive, understand and manage not only our emotions, but those of others. It's like a bridge connecting us to the world of unexpressed feelings. It's a struggle we all face, but with the right approach, you can learn to better understand those who struggle to express their feelings. So how can you navigate this challenge and develop a deeper understanding of those around you? Let's dive into a step-by-step -step guide to help you walk this path. First and foremost, patience and empathy are key. Picture yourself in a foreign country, struggling to communicate in an unfamiliar language. This is how some people feel expressing their feelings. Be patient and empathetic, just as you'd appreciate others to be with you in that foreign country. Secondly, active listening is crucial. It's not just about hearing the words, but understanding the emotions behind them. If someone tells you they're fine with a sigh, they might not be as fine as they think. Tune into these subtleties. Thirdly, pay attention to nonverbal cues. A person's body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice can reveal a lot about what they're feeling. When words are scarce, these cues can fill in the gaps. Fourth, ask open-ended questions. Instead of asking, are you okay? Which can easily be answered with a simple yes or no, ask, how are you feeling about this? This encourages more detailed responses and opens the door for deeper conversation. Lastly, avoid making assumptions. We all have different experiences, and what might seem obvious to you might not be the case for the other person. Be open to their unique perspective and remember that understanding is a journey, not a destination. Remember, everyone communicates in their own way, and it's up to us to learn how to understand them. In the end, understanding someone else's emotions isn't about solving a puzzle. It's about exercising patience, showing empathy, and engaging in active listening. It's about deciphering non-verbal cues, asking open-ended questions, and avoiding assumptions. These steps are not just tools for understanding others, but also keys to unlocking deeper connections. It's about creating an environment where they feel safe, seen, and understood. And in doing so, you might find that you understand yourself a little better too.